hello guys. Welcome back. Red Lentil Healing. So Katie Miller. Katie Miller is now COVID-19 positive. To, in order to make a full physical recovery, a lot of times we need to pair that with a strong working of our energetic body. So let's take a look at what chakras Katie Miller needs to work on for her to make a full Crown bug, recover, physical recovery. For those of you who do not know, Katie Miller is the co-vampire creature of the night. Pair to Stephen Miller, i.e. his uh, Stephen Miller's wife and Mike Pence's uh, press secretary, I believe. Somebody like that. So let's see what Kitty Miller needs to work on in her energetic body to make a full recovery. First things first, the mind, her third eye chakra, her openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning. Kitty, open your third eye and be open and flexible to whatever information you get from your medical staff, from your intuition, from your guides. They're trying to help you recover and you can do that if you're open and you open your third eye chakra. Next is inspiration with your crown chakra, your ideas, your spark, conception, and impulse. Do not be impulsive right now unless that impulse is directly driven from the spirit realm, okay? Um, just work on really finding that divine inspiration right now so you can stay connected with the universe. Your throat chakra, your ability to speak divine truth and hear divine truth. Um, you get the entire throat chakra card, not just a particular aspect of your throat chakra. So please make sure you continue to speak truth right now. Um, I know you're probably relaying information back to aids, what have them while you are recovering for them to continue the work for the deep. Please make sure that whatever information you give is honest and from a pure place, but we all know you have, there may be, that may be a little bit of a issue for you, but just make sure that you were speaking divine truth and you were listening empathically, completely and wholly to whatever information you give. And again, be honest with whatever information you give out. Please make sure you keep in mind with your sacral chakra, um, your house of emotions, also your house of uh, pleasure, your house of creativity, um, your house of creation, yeah, I said creativity and creation, um, and enjoyment with pleasure. So again, make sure that you, um, you don't overindulge once this is done. Um, I'm wondering if overindulgence may be what got you in the position that you're in right now, maybe being around impulsive and indulging and being around certain people who've had it and that need to partake in certain things. So that's why you were uh, susceptible to this. So make sure that you find that balance with pleasure and you don't overindulge. Last but not least, your heart chakra with forgiveness. Um, you getting sick was not intentional. I don't think anybody set out to get you sick. I think it just unfortunately happened. So make sure you have the ability to forgive whoever you think got you sick. I don't think, again, I don't think it was intentional. You have to work on forgiving. Grief in your heart chakra does not allow you to move on. It does not allow you to heal and have a healthy heart chakra. So make sure you work on forgiveness, um, letting go, healing, growth, and most importantly, compassion. Compassion is part of forgiving. You have to be compassionate in order to forgive. So work on your opening openness with your third eye. Find that in inspiration from divine spirit. Work on speaking truth and being receptive to hearing truth as well. Work on making sure you're not overindulging in your pleasures and your sacral chakra. Last but not least, open up that heart chakra. Don't let grief and your inability to forgive to block you from making a full, healthy recovery. You know, she's one of God's children, so we must wish her well. All right, guys, until the next video, take care of yourself, take care of others, so we can collectively take care of Mama Earth. Bye, guys.